What about uh, Ahmed Johnson? Memories of working with uh, Ahmed. God love him. Not the brightest bulb in the in the in the in the shed. Not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Um, I love him, but he didn't have a freaking clue. Did not have a clue in the world. Uh, funny Ahmed Johnson story. He's wrestling Undertaker, I forget the pay-per-view, for the world title. Come into catering, and J Jack Briscoe is his agent. Jerry Briscoe. Jerry Briscoe is his agent. And Ahmed comes into catering, and he goes, Jerry, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for this. And Jerry goes, don't worry, Ahmed. You know, Taker's good. He'll take care of you. He goes, no, man. I don't know if I'm ready to carry the big belt yet. Jerry, he looks around and he goes, have you talked to Vince yet? Why, man? I'm winning the championship tonight, man. You need to go talk to Vince. Huh. And it was like, he's like, oh, man, they're going to put it on me. Bro, he just had no clue. I've right. never seen someone who Vince tried to hand money to. Just, here's buckets of money. Take it. No. Just, just no. Just, just wait on a different planet. He was always getting injured too, I think. Too. Oh, he was injury prone um, because of his own stupidity. He would hurt himself trying to do, remember him trying to do other people's stuff. Uh, I got into a locker room fight with him one time. Um, him and Rocky are wrestling. Rocky's sitting here, Ahmed sitting here. Wait, Rocky's sitting there, Ahmed's sitting there. Ron Simmons over there, Godfather's there. And this was right as we are the nation was working with Ahmed, and eventually we get jumped in the nation and jumped out of the nation. We were somewhere in South Carolina or something like that. And uh, so Rocky and Ahmed are fighting back and forth, blah, 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 because Ahmed wants to come right out, and within 30 seconds, he wants to hit him with the Michinoku driver. And Rocky's like, that's Taka's move. You can't do that. Ahmed, the hell with Taka, man. He's 12 inches tall and weighed 10 pounds. I could no, 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 it's his stuff. So I'm sitting there, just I'm getting dressed, and all of a sudden I hear, I'm going to moke your ass, which he was trying to say, I'm going to smoke your ass. <laughs> and I go, come on, guys, nobody's going to smoke anybody. And he goes, and he looks over, and goes, I'm going to deal with you in just a second. And he goes back, he goes back to Ron, Mark, and he goes, all right, goes back to Rock and talking. And then he looks over at me, and he goes, man, I'll, you take the, the fuck out of my business. I'll, and I look at him, don't talk to me like that, like I'm some little fucking high school kid. And he goes, oh. That's how it is? I said, yeah, that's how it is. I'm a grown-ass man. Treat me like one. So then I go down and place my boots. And literally, I see him. I look up. And like in slow motion, he's got a paint can in his hand. He's swinging at me. So all I do is I let him come into me. And I just dip him and turn him. Huh. And I hook, his, I hook his arms literally like this. I hook arm underneath. I look at him and go, are you fucking proud of yourself? And so I'm holding him down, looking at him. And I'm laughing at him. And I'll never forget, as in this whole thing, um, Godfather comes over and grabs me. He goes, D'Lo, D'Lo, if you let go of him, we'll get you off of him. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> so let go of him. The next day we have a big sit down with Jim Ross. And this was a day where I realized I got affirmation that I, I, I wasn't, because I swore I was going to get, once again, I was going to get fired. Uh, here's Ahmed. He's a star. I'm, I'm bow tie guy. I just got on TV. So... Jim, uh, Jim Ross comes, sits down, and he goes, boys, here you had an incident in the locker room yesterday. Yes, sir. He goes, well, this is WWF, boys, and either we all get along, he looks over at our man, he goes, or one of us is going to have to get along. And I'm sitting there going, he just told me he's going to get fired if he don't huh. do business. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that was my thought. And then, because uh, Ron goes, man, don't worry, don't worry, he's a stupid motherfucker, don't worry about him. So, yeah, that was my... I don't think I've ever told that story either. Wow, you're getting exclusive Good. here. <laughs>